more groups are coming together and speaking up because of this protest calling for the end of sexual violence. As News Channel 12's Katie Brooks found out, one group focuses on opening the conversation for those who have experienced this violence firsthand. There are over 350 registered student organizations on WKU's campus, including groups ranging from Greek life, politics, sports, music, and even online gaming. But a new group has come to campus in light of recent events. The Feminist Student Union is a new organization at WKU whose mission is, quote, to help and empower students through feminism and to foster dialogues and conversations promoting this goal, end quote. FSU co-president Olivia Neal started the group after finding no other organizations on campus that had an overtly feminist message. I lived in Louisville for a little bit and I've gone to all the women's marches um, that were existing in Louisville and I just wanted something that had a similar vibe to that. So when I didn't find anything on campus, I was just like, you know what, Maybe, what if I just start it myself? Like I the founding of FSU has been in progress for over a year, but is now officially in motion just as Western's campus erupted at the news of a pending rape case. Last week, the WKU College Heights Herald released an article about a lawsuit with 20 defendants, including Western Kentucky University, Kappa Delta Sorority Incorporated, and Sigma Phi Epsilon Fraternity in regards to an alleged rape. The following Friday, students banded together in a protest march against sexual violence. FSU co-president Abby Fitzgibbon attended the protest and believes that FSU is a step in the right direction to reaching an end to sexual violence. I think even before the Herald article was published, I think the FSU was necessary, just knowing um, a lot of the like um, predispositions a lot of people I know have come into campus with, um, and a lot of people aren't aware that feminism is really needed until something happens that like kind of sparks that. Um, FSU unfortunately has not had the campus's full support in its foundation. Western has allowed us to like kind of take root um, and we've gotten a lot of good support. We've also um, gotten a little bit of like on social media is just a little bit of backlash. Um, this backlash has come from the popular mobile app Yik Yak where anonymous comments can be made by anyone about anything. Some of these anonymous comments show the true feelings of some WKU students. Freshman Sabrina Kynes describes her experience with campus as harsh. I've been catcalled walking across to the Creason lot like at least five times and I was just like dressed in my baggy clothes, not that anyone who is dressing provocatively deserves to be catcalled, but it's just like the kind of atmosphere, like I don't feel safe walking at night. I don't know if any woman does on campus. The Feminist Student Union's goal is to make sure that everyone is able to feel safe on WKU's campus. For News Channel 12, I'm Katie Brooks. If you are ever on campus and are feeling unsafe about your surroundings, find one of the blue lit emergency call boxes to immediately contact WKUPD.